this is the Peaceful Revolutionary speaking, Sylvain Rochon. Nice to see you again for another week. Um, this week it's going to be a little bit short since uh, today is the 4th of July and um, last Friday was uh, July 1st, so lots of people are in festivities, uh, including myself a little bit. So I'm going to keep it a little bit short. I, I wanted to make sure to have a video up there anyway. Um, make sure I put my thoughts out on something and uh, as usual for the last few months what I've been doing um, my first video for each month has been about cash foundation uh, and specifically the, uh, the energy generation kind of reporting on what's going on there um, and, and that's also going to be really quick uh, because once again uh, we haven't received uh, our uh, our, uh, our, our units, uh, which were ordered uh, last October, October 2015, so it's been about eight months. In December, we were promised that uh, uh, they would be produced during the month of December and uh, in the same province, like more locally, and then shipped. Nothing. So, um, yeah, that's 2,000 euros down the drain. Uh, nothing to be done about that. Uh, Anyway, so my, my partner who uh, has actually made the purchase, one of them has uh, died from cancer since then, and uh, his brother, who is still still there, kind of uh, waiting, uh, may and, and they're the ones that actually dished out the money, uh, may may or may not choose to sue or pursue or whatever. You know, I, He's going to do whatever he needs to do. As for myself, um, that means uh, no direct testing from my engineer friend, no direct testing from myself. We don't know. Um, I've been following the QEG guys from Sweden last few months. And last month, I was, uh, I was hoping to see uh, uh, some more data from their electric bill. That was nothing. Uh, this month on their website, which is linked below, Still nothing, even though they seem to have fairly promising results that even though they've been playing with the data and was made me doubt a lot of it um no more information going going up from there, so they may have given up or something else is going on there at the very least. I have no further information uh other sources have been posting way way less frequently. Uh, most of it uh, is not worth mentioning a whole lot. It's uh, more speculation, kind of looking at things, asking questions, not really knowing where to go, what to do, uh, not really seeing um, extra results or more information. Seems like things are dying down and people are kind of giving up on it to a certain degree, at least the people I've been following. Uh, so, uh, so I'm just, this is going to be the last video on the cash, cash, um, uh, cash stuff, uh, because I mean, they, they, there's not a lot of excitement around it anymore. Uh, there's no clear evidence from people who have been building the units, the people that have received the units. So it's, it's, it's probably not, uh, something very viable. On the other hand, and I always want to uh, to bring you back to this, there are extremely, extremely viable energy uh, creation systems, and very sharp people are working on very interesting things uh, that are new. And um, I'd like to just give you a couple of links about that and, come, uh, and a bit of insight. Uh, one of them is fairly familiar. Uh, I, I've talked about solar energy before and I, I think it's still very viable it's uh, improved a lot over uh, over the last couple of years uh, at least uh, well it's been improving before then but last couple of years they've, uh, there's there have been some further improvements uh, I know some companies for example that are uh, gathering infrared uh, radiation uh, not using photovoltaic methods but Using other methods, so it's um, you know infrared is generated by generated by heat. So you're essentially recapturing part of the heat energy that is hard to capture uh, in open spaces, um, and also of course this uh, most of sunlight, 50% uh, or more of the energy from the sunlight is infrared. It's not visible light. Uh, it's uh, what you feel on your skin as radiated heat. 
uh, when you think you're going to get sunburn, for example, you kind of feel the, feel the kiss of the sun, for example, that's infrared radiation, you kind of, you, you get to feel. UV, you don't feel. That's a more dangerous kind, but, um, so, so panels or, 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 or gatherers that would capture infrared can capture a lot more of the, uh, of the light. And some of them, because infrared is invisible to eyes, um, some, some groups and some companies, you can research this on, on the web, have been uh, quite successful at gathering UV and or infrared only, which makes, um, you know, which makes panels that could, potentially can be transparent. Some of them are transparent. So they act like a solar panel to capture what is non-visible light less the visible light through so it's so the, the the panels are transparent and it still captures energy so essentially uh, in some cases uh, there's a couple of companies that i've been looking at uh what they've tested is that if you uh, if you put their panels on a glass building you know those skyscrapers that are generally like all the surfaces are in glass pretty much if you uh, if you put if you use their glass on the building replacing the, the normal glass uh, you uh, you will generate init enough en electricity for half of the building's use, like an office building, and that's really good. That means you suck half uh, of what you need from the grid, and the rest of it is just like your surfaces on the outside are gathering the half the energy you need to for all your uses inside the building. So that's really good. So that's on solar, and there's there's a bunch of different examples. You can research uh, solar energy initiatives. There's a lot of research. I mean, you, you can even uh, I've even seen uh, it was last year a lab that was successfully able to uh, to create photovoltaic uh, cells using a spray. So essentially, it's a, it's it's a spray on solar panels. Uh, you just connect that to electrodes into uh, on, on your battery, and you can essentially spray any surface uh, of any shape, and that makes uh, makes solar panels. So essentially, it's crystals of some sort that change shape. So it doesn't matter what if they're flat or if they uh, like traditional photovoltaic panels. You need you need uh, panels that are a certain distance from each other to, for for the electricity to, to, to shape up. And needs to obviously capture capture from the sun. Well, there's other technologies that are also photovoltaic or non-photovoltaic that don't require that flat space or those flat uh, layers. Uh, so you can bend them and uh, put them in spray, all sorts of stuff. So this is really cool. You, the the sun hits hits us anyway. We can use the surfaces that we have as uh, highly efficient solar panels to generate the energy we need to run uh, pretty much anything we want. Um, so that's really cool. But uh, one thing that I really want to point out, and this is something fairly new. Uh, I mean, this company has been going, has been experimenting with this since 2009. So it's not new, uh, and it's been on TED Talks. It's, it's it's been floating around, but not a whole lot of people have been uh, paying attention to it. But I really like the concept because it's, it's similar to capturing sunlight. It's about capturing something you're already doing. You're not doing something extra. You're not creating any pollution. Uh, in essence, you, you just you just replace something very mundane with a new technology, and it's unnoticeable, and you're actually generating energy. And this company is called PaveGen. I'm, I'm putting up the link uh, in the down below there, just so you guys can check it out. Um, and, and they have videos and all sorts of stuff. You can do research on the web on it too. Uh, it's really cool. It's uh, essentially it's um, you generate electricity from footsteps. That, that's all it is. It's like floor tiles uh, with a uh, with generators inside uh, using the kinetic um, pressure of uh, footsteps, very slight pressure uh, to generate. Um, I mean, they what they say on the website is five watts. Uh, of continuous energy per tile, a tile being, I think, I think it's, it looks a little bit like three quarters of a meter long, or so, and they've, they've changed their designs um, since 2009. But uh, es essentially, if you have a, a walkway or a hall that, like a university, and they've they've had over 100 installations uh, since 2009, um, and you put those uh, those things in there, then you have continuous uh, flow through a footsteps in there and you're generating electricity for 
for the hall and where the floor was basically unused and, 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 and neutral now the floor is used to generate more electricity so let's get let's get back to that you know that tall building example where you have the surfaces of the outside that are uh, that that generate half the electricity for the whole building well this bu this building uh during busy hours has a lot of people floating around in walking halls elevators lobbies entryways if you put these floor tiles in there uh I i'm not sure about you know because there's no math to actually indicate this and i haven't read any reports about this but if you put these paved, paved gen tiles for example in in the busiest areas or even so why not like most of the areas and even bathrooms uh, maybe the other half of the energy um, requ uh, requirements for the building would be su sufficient. So without drawing any any energy from the grid, potentially I don't know, but at least it would be more. So you're using you're just replacing the materials of a building uh, with very uh, long life um, materials that don't need to be replaced for 20 years or more. Uh, and that generate the electricity for the uh, the actual uh, area. Now, this creates self-sustained uh, energy systems that are localized for each individual building that, that is being used. As an example uh, of uh, of perhaps a future where you don't need to uh, to depend on a centralized system, which is what made me interested made me uh, interested in the uh, the cash technologies for energy generation in the first place, uh, the Magrav units and whatnot. Uh, because I figure, well, if this if this actually has some value to it, we can figure out ways for individual houses or buildings to generate their own juice. Uh, in a different way to, uh, to, to to looking at science and physics in the world, right? Uh, well, we don't need to uh, to use Magrav or weird people that try to sell pills and doing all this this kind of a uh, weird behavior <laughs> and fraudulent behavior and uh, and also like you know units being sold not being received and all this 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 mess this huge mess of a weirdness you can avoid all that and, and use technologies that are existing with real companies that can be validated they're on the market they're not trying to hide they're not trying to do weird things they're just improving doing r d and PaveGen is a small firm this is a small company so it's you know i like small companies because they're in a way more trustworthy i guess for me because less tied to governments and some of the shadiest elements of our society um and uh, yeah, you can we can use the science and technology in a real way, in a real practical way, using real science that we can validate with today's knowledge to make things better for ourselves and decentralize uh, all of our needs, which is something I really love. Uh, and as a revolutionary, I'm sure you do as well. Uh, and you can do a whole bunch of other research uh, um, about, about other technologies that are similar to that. I'm kind of looking at my, my screen to see if I forget any, anything here. Um, but, uh, but really this is, this is the point. And I've done blogs on this before. If, if those are not interesting for you, you can like really traditional, uh, like wind energy is easy to build for, if you're clever, less than 50 bucks, you can generate inextricity for your whole house. If you're not so clever and you want to buy a system that exists, there's the providers that can sell you whole systems for like $3,000 wind energy. I mean. And, and you can provide for your whole house. I mean, we buy cars for what thirty thousand dollars sometimes, and we we forget. Well, you know, we how about the energy for that for the house? How much do we spend every year? Uh, right. Like, if you get uh, if you get a three thousand um, dollar wind turbine as an example, a three thousand dollar spend. Maybe you don't need to spend for uh, for electricity for your house. You spend perhaps. I really don't know, maybe $100 a month for your electricity needs. Uh, it really depends on houses and location. Well, that's $1,200 a year. So after three years, you actually you actually paid your, uh, your wind turbine off. So if you're, uh, if you're in a good location for wind, why don't you get a wind turbine? Just get it on payments. It's exactly the same as if you're paying an electricity bill 
And if you're generating extra, you're actually selling your electricity to back into the grid for others. So you're making a little bit of money back. Why don't more people do that? Well, people in cities, it's a little bit more difficult because of regulations and because you're sharing apartments. You don't own the apartment where you're, uh, you're in the building. That's true. Uh, but huge amounts of people live in the country. Huge amounts of people live in the cities where you can actually have these systems in. And there's a, you can do a little bit of research uh, around Google products and, uh, and R&D and other, uh, other companies that actually uh, you know invented units where you can uh, put any kind of fuel in it's going to generate and it's going to convert it to a different kind of energy including waste uh <laughs> and and these are like little boxes you can put in your home and plug in uh, you can research that and look for the legit companies not weird ones that are shady like real companies that are well, fairly well established even the small ones that have sold and have examples you know the you the non-shady websites uh, there are some uh, either in R&D or there are or, or that have uh, experimental experimental uh, systems out there so if you're interested in all that stuff even in your in your apartment in New York uh, there are options out there if you want to do that and uh, as always all this stuff and all the change we want to make constantly depends on us making good decisions if you sit back and just pay your electricity bill nothing's going to change about the electricity uh, market very much and how about centralization and anything like that what you need to do is you need to take a decision and and use a system uh and you choose you, you research you, you you choose one if you can because it really depends where you live especially in the city uh, like in my case here, I can't really do a whole lot because of my current living conditions, although conditions, the location where I live, uh, and, and, uh, the fact that I don't own anything in my apartment, I'm very mobile. Um, it doesn't really make sense for me to buy any of these systems. It's not really portable it would, anyway. Uh, but I will be moving most likely into another location where I believe I'll be able to, uh, to get something done in that, in that respect myself, which is great because I'll be able to contribute directly into decentralizing the energy uh, uh, the energy uh, consumption and uh, make my own energy using any one of those systems and it, it, it's just a question of math if you're not sure if you want me to check out a certain system because you want you want to know if it's legit if it's good science uh, if it's a good investment uh, please post down below feel free uh, give me a link to the website and whatnot. I'm going to check it out for you. Most, most likely, I know already about it. I've posted some videos about uh, other custom-made custom, custom -made energy generation system that you, uh, systems that you can uh, look into uh, and some of them that you can build yourself even. Um, so those are, uh, are good ways to go. Uh, but feel free to post any ideas, any questions about that. I'll be able to, to help you out with it. Okay. Uh, one thing's for sure: stay away from cash technologies. I don't. I, I don't. It's too risky. You, you, it's way more likely you're going to lose uh, any of your, uh, all your money. You better, you better spend your time and efforts and and uh, and, and money on established businesses with really cool uh, systems that are well researched, established, and you don't need to tinker and experiment or risk your uh, risk your health. Uh, on it okay so that'll be it for today hopefully this has been helpful uh, check out the links below uh, and uh, provide some comments and some questions I'll be happy to answer you guys in the meantime happy 4th of July uh, if you guys celebrate that uh, have a good week and I'll uh, catch up to you next time